whatever works for you guys. You just tell me where you want to go. Do you need a sound check? Yeah. A long time ago. Yeah. It's like it's been a year. Yeah, I graduated in 06. Yeah. Definitely. From where? Uh, well, I, I went to, I did, I had a degree in aviation management. I oh, cool. Up at the University of North Dakota. Cool. Uh, and then uh, came down here for this. So. Pretty much it was aviation for you. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that's kind of what I set out to do, and this is perfect because I can do business and aviation. Yeah. Oh, we'll fly a little bit. Good. Okay. Good to go. Yeah. Am I is the shot okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna give you a name and spelling it. All right. It's Matt Dyer. D Y E R. Okay. And tell me about the event today. What is it? Well, we're at the Parade of Pistons here at Hawthorne Airport, and uh, it's really a fun event. We've got a lot of a lot of different airplane manufacturers, different programs that are all out here um, and showing off their airplanes and a lot of different airplanes, uh, a lot of different options for people who are out looking to maybe purchase an airplane or look for some kind of way to access an airplane. Uh, and it's really an event for them to come out and see what their options are. So, well, what do you guys have? Well, our program is called iFly, and we're an exclusive aero club. And pretty much what that means is we have a fleet of six of these airplanes. These are the Columbia 350s. And we allow access into these airplanes uh, to our members. And uh, they come to us, and we're able to let them uh, have access to the airplane for about half the cost of what it would actually be to own one of these outright. Um, and along with that, we're able to take away all the hassles that go along with owning an airplane. Uh, owning an airplane is not a, a real easy task. There's a lot of stuff that goes along with that. Um, you've got things like uh, getting your insurance taken care of, getting a hangar, a place to keep the airplane, doing the maintenance on it, having it cleaned. Um, there's a lot of different factors that go along with that and it can really be a pain and a hassle for people that do have airplanes. So what we do is they have access to our airplanes but we take care of all that for them. So when they, came, when they come back in the airplane they give us the keys and we take care of getting their insurance, doing the maintenance on the airplane and uh, and all of the hassles that go along with it. So really a turnkey way to access an airplane. Uh, tell me about flying. Flying is, uh, flying is something that you can't really describe uh, until you've had a chance to do it. It's, it doesn't do it any justice to sit here on the ground and talk to you about flying. It's something that people really need to experience. And uh, I've been a pilot for about seven years now and uh, I have a about 300 hours in the Columbia uh, and flying especially in California is probably the most rewarding experience you'll ever have in your life um, the scenery is just unbelievable um, you know it, it, I have to pinch myself most times when I'm up there uh, my office is 5,000 feet above Los Angeles most days and uh, I can look to my left and see the beach and on the right I can see uh, you know big bear covered in snow so it's uh, it's it's an opportunity that not many people have great it sounds amazing um, and then if you want to say anything about, you know, everyone coming here for a little bit of flying or, you know, what, what does everyone have in common here? Well, aviation, obviously, and aviation is, it, it's kind of a big fraternity. And uh, when we all get together as pilots, um, it doesn't really matter what your background is, what you do, where you come from. Uh, if you have a passion for aviation, then everybody, uh, everybody has something to start talking about. And uh, that's why you see all these people walking around here and uh, just kind of sticking their heads in airplanes and talking to people. And, you know, you could stick us out here for five weeks and we'd be able to get along just fine and, uh, and talk about airplanes all day. So. Awesome. Anything you want to add generally about flying or the event or planes or anything? Um, you know, I, I would certainly uh, recommend that people come out and check it out. Uh, probably not this year, but next year when it comes back around. Uh, even if you're not in aviation, uh, come out here and uh, stick your head in the airplanes and talk to people. And uh, if it's something that you've been interested in doing and thinking, hey, maybe I should go learn how to fly, then uh, this is a great opportunity to learn a little bit about that and, uh, and you know, start pursuing your dreams. Awesome. We're done. Thank you. No problem. You're great. This What's your name? Great job at Christina. Christina. Yeah. I got your seat.
the sandbox. <laughs> Give me your name. Jason Berg, J A S O N B U R G. And what is your title or what do you do for? I'm a, I'm a flight instructor, a CFI for California Flight Center. Awesome. Do you know what's going on here today? It's a parade of pistons, is the title. Uh, my understanding is that it is a demonstration of aircraft manufacturers for the purpose of pilots uh, interested in buying aircraft. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. I just see you're like, no, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Yeah, that's good. Is everything good over there, Paul? <laughs> I think he's just trying to tap in so we can hear the audio. He hasn't even checked the audio yet. Is the audio on? Okay. All right. <laughs> um, and just, you know, what do you do? What is this What is this product you're offering today? California Flight Center um, offers flight instruction. They also offer fractional ownership which means if somebody's interested in buying an airplane, they don't have to necessarily cough, off, cough up all the expenses at once they can go into it. It's pretty much self-explanatory, self fractional ownership. Um, our main purpose is to <laughs> excite people about aviation, uh, get people interested, and get people flying. So you did a great job of well, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. And um, what about your passion for flying? As for me, I'm, I'm, I'm very lucky in the fact that, in a way, I was born into it. Um, my grandfather had an airplane when I was a little kid, and he used to take me flying at an airport similar to this. And I just remember being a little kid, looking out the window, and just thinking, this is for me. And uh, it's a different world when you're up there. You see things like you've never seen them before. So it changes who you are as a person, and it changes the way you live your life. Absolutely. Anywhere in aviation, I find a certain level of camaraderie, if you will. Um, it doesn't matter who you are or where you are, but if you run into somebody that's a pilot, you know that they both have the same background and you automatically have a certain level of respect for them. And uh, it is definitely apparent at events such as Prey to Pistons. Anything you want to add about Prey to Pistons, flying, what you guys do? I think flying is the greatest thing in the world. It's a shame that. So many people are afraid of it. Um, as you saw today, it's, it's very exciting and it's not very scary at all. So it's just a matter of getting more people out here, getting people demo rides, and sharing the love of flight. Fabulous. We're done. Oh, I just thought of something. Okay. No, it's all right. No, you it, have to do a, it. It's a cheesy quote. Okay, say it. Um, and it's